guys, I have a video today. I know it's been a while since I did my last one, about two weeks. I do work full time and I, I was on like a mini vacation the past week, so I haven't really had time to film another video. Um, but I am here today to make another video for you guys and it's actually going to be a tag video. It's the get to know me tag. I thought this would be a good video to do so you guys can kind of get a feel of what kind of a person I am. I do have future videos, fashion videos and whatnot that I am planning to do, so keep an eye out for that, guys. Okay, it's going to happen. So don't mind my appearance. I have been doing nothing today. It's been a very lazy day. Um, I've been catching up on a lot of sleep, so my hair is kind of like messy and a little bun back there you can't really see. Um, curls just everywhere. And yeah. Sorry about this, guys. I'm not wearing any makeup at all, so... We're just going to get started, okay? I have my laptop with me with the questions I need to answer. So the first portion of the Get to Know Me tag are vital stats. And first question is my name. So my name is Glendalee Corona. Yes, Corona, just like the beer, Glendalee, don't really know where that came from. But yeah, hi, I'm Glendalee Corona. Nice to meet you. Nicknames, I've gotten, well, my family calls me Glenda. Because it's just, I don't know why. It's kind of just what I grew up being called. Um, but I've gotten Dolly. I've gotten Glendilly. I've gotten Glendaddy before. It's really, really weird. Um, G-Dog, you know. Don't mind being called anything except Glen. The name Glen just kind of irks my nerves because I'm not a dude. I don't like being called Glenn. Now that's just being lazy. I get it. Glenn Daly is kind of a little a little bit of a tongue twister for you. Not really. Glenn's just being too lazy for me. I, I really hate it when people call me Glenn. I, I sometimes let people do it because whatever. People people do it but it, that's honestly one of my biggest pet peeves. So yeah. If you're watching this and you call me Glenn I don't like it. Sorry. And my birthday Day is May 13th. Should I say my birth year? Oh no. I was born in 93. Yay! Place of birth was Brooklyn, New York. I am a Brooklynite, a New Yorker. It's fun, I guess. Star sign. Is that like my zodiac sign? I don't even know. Oh, yep, that's my zodiac sign. <laughs> um, but I'm a Taurus. I'm a bull. It's funny because I have my septum pierced and I'm a Taurus. It's just just work. My occupation, I am currently a sales associate at a store that I am not going to say for privacy reasons, but yes, I, I work retail. Look at this. Look at this. I just have a strand of hair just sticking out. Look at that. Boop. Boop. The second portion of the tag is about appearances. Hair color is dark brown, close to black. I always thought I had black hair, but I actually have dark brown hair. Hmm. Weird. I know. My hair length, this little section of hair you just saw, I actually recently cut my hair myself. And it's it's about there. That length. I have like layers there as well, but I was just being reckless, so I was just like, yeah. I also had like ombre in my hair, like I had blonde at the tips of my hair, and it was kind of like dying out my hair. It's like a lot to split ends, so I kind of just wanted to get rid of it, kind of start fresh again. Oop, look at that little, little thing either. But yeah, so I recently just cut my hair, so it's about like right here-ish, a little shorter maybe. I can put it up in a ponytail, so that's good. <laughs> Excuse me. Eye color is also brown. Best feature? I really know. Face-wise, I really like my eyes. I think they're a really nice, pretty shape. Um, I don't know, I just like my hands. They're kind of tiny. I don't know if that's really considered a feature, though. Really. Braces, I've had... Oopsies, sorry guys. Um, braces, yes. I had braces for a couple years. I think I got it my 10th grade year, right before my 10th grade year. Was it before my 10th grade year? I believe so. I had really bad teeth. Um, but I had braces for about two and a half, three years, um, and it saved my life. I still do have, like, one crooked tooth in the bottom, but to be honest, my teeth were ten times worse than that one little crooked tooth, so honestly, it's okay. It's mainly because I didn't use my retainers. So if, if you wear braces, use your retainers. I just personally don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Piercings, I have my septum, I have my belly button, and I have about five in each ear. 
Let me show you. I had a lot more when I was younger, um, but as I got older, I kind of got tired of putting earrings on. I'm not sure if you can see my holes. But I have, as you can see, that's a hole there, that's a hole there. I have another hole here. I had a hole up here, and yeah, I think it was the last one. I also had this pierced in here. Um, but as I got older, I kind of got tired of it, so... Um, yeah, I don't have as much as I used to. I'm planning on getting one full ear done eventually. I'd like to work on that again. Um, and probably just keep this one to like my fifth one, which is what I have naturally. Not sure if I really want anything else. I used to have like my regular nose pierced. Um, and I actually used to do that myself because I was just really crazy when I was younger. I would just get bored and just stick needles through my nose. I'm a very weird kid. So, tattoos, I have nine. I'm not showing them in any particular order, but I have one here, I have that one here, and I have this one in my shoulder, which was two different sessions. I have these here, and then I have one in my ribcage that I'm not going to show. And I also have one back there. You can kind of see it. It's a sugar skull back there. I'm pretty sure you've seen it in other videos. Um, but to go in depth with all of my tattoos, that's definitely going to be another video. I am going to, I'm thinking about it. I have been requested to do it. Um, but I have a few more that I want to get in the near close future. So I'm just going to wait till I get those to like really go in depth with what my tattoos mean and whatnot. Um, righty or lefty, I'm definitely a righty. So the third portion of the tag are about firsts. So my first best friend, her name was Giselle, and we were friends from about kindergarten to like second, third grade. Um, what had happened was new girls came into the picture and I was kind of just like kicked to the side. Um, but hey, it happens. And I have cooler best friends now, so it's okay. First award, honestly, I don't even remember. It probably would have been like attendance or like good at reading or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is a random question. I don't know. First sport. I don't really know. I hate sports, to be honest. Um, but I remember playing a lot of kickball when I was little. So I'm going to go with kickball. First sport, kickball. First real holiday. Christmas? Halloween? Thanksgiving? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't really know how to answer this. Um, but I do remember going trick-or-treating a lot. So I'm just going to say Halloween. Plus Halloween is fun. Free candy. We're going to go with that. And first concert... Um, my first concert wasn't actually a real concert. It was one of those, like, free ones with Good Morning America in the City. Um, and I saw Katy Perry, which was pretty cool. Um, but my first real, real concert was Never Shout Never back in, like, 11th grade. That was, what, four years ago? Wow. That was a long time ago. Okay, so next segment is about favorites. So my favorite film... Ugh, I hate questions like this. There's so many I love. Um, if I had to pick one, it would definitely be The Nightmare Before Christmas, because I just love Tim Burton, and I remember being a kid and watching the VHS so many times that it was broken, but I'd still watch it even though part of it didn't even work anymore. Um, I would watch it countless times in one day. Um, I have the DVD now, I still watch it occasionally. Definitely one of my favorite movies. Favorite TV show as a kid? Ugh, this is just so hard, there are so many. Um, as a kid, I guess I would say Courage the Cowardly Dog just because I love scary stuff. I've always loved scary stuff, scary movies, scary shows, ghosts, monsters. I I've always been a big fan of them, so definitely Courage. Um, recently, I've definitely been addicted to Breaking Bad, as you can see. I am repping the man Heisenberg right there. He's the man. And Jesse Pinkman. Oh my god, he is to die for. He could be a meth head. I'm still with it. He is, he is, he's very attractive. Favorite color? Black. Favorite song? I guess my all-time favorite song would have to be Across the Universe by the Beatles, just because it's very mellow and it's very, it's very being in touch with yourself, you know? It's, it's kind of what I go for in life, so definitely my favorite song. So, favorite restaurant? I'm not sure if this counts as a restaurant, but I'm going to say it anyways. Definitely Chipotle. 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 I love Chipotle. I have Chipotle at least once a week. Like, I have to have my weekly dosage of Chipotle. And it's like two blocks from my job, so it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> Favorite book? Hmm. 
I think one of my favorite, favorite books would have to be The Book Thief. I forgot who wrote the book. I feel like I'm going to go Google it. So, Marcus Zuzak, I believe that's how you say his name, I'm not sure, but he's the author who wrote The Book Thief, and the reason why, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, because, like, it, I'll ruin the whole thing for you, but it's really, really good. The way it's written, like, the perspective it's, excuse me, the perspective it's in is very, very interesting, and it's pretty much about World War II during, like, Hitler's rise, and Nazis. It's just a really, really good book. It made me cry. I cry for everything, but... It's honestly a really, really good touching book. So if you haven't read it, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, yeah, go read that. Some favorite magazine, it would have to be Nylon or Teen Vogue. Teen Vogue and Nylon are kind of like both up there. And my favorite shoes, they have like holes in them and everything, as you can see. I've wore the hell out of these. Um, they're like broken here. I have like a little hole in the front. But these are by far my favorite shoes. They are super duper comfortable and they're super duper dirty. Yeah. So currently, as the next segment, currently feeling good, chill, relaxed, okay, happy. Two thumbs up. That's how I'm feeling. Please single or taken. I'm just going to say it's kind of complicated. I'm going to leave it at that. Currently eating, I'm not eating anything right now, but I had some chicken tenders and french fries. About hour and a half ago. Currently listening to... Last thing I was listening to was actually Justin Timberlake in the shower. The 2020 experience. Currently thinking about if I really want to go to the gym later with my sister. But I think I'm going to go because I told her yes, so I kind of have to go. Currently watching Breaking Bad and Pretty Little Liars. And currently wearing... I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing jammies, just saying. Um, but I'm wearing this shirt from American Eagle. It says American Beauty. It has these, like, little, like, cutouts all through, all around them. And my, like, very short, short Joe Boxer shorts. And some flip-flops. And that's what I'm wearing. Yay! This next part's about the future. So, want children? I do. I'd like two to three. Um, do I want to be married? I'd like to, but I'm in no rush. Like, marriage is just life is just complicated so I'm not even like worried about marriage right now careers in mind like my number one top career would have to be like a stylist of some sort I'm a theater major so I'd like to be on Broadway someday that's like the big big dream as well um but if it can't happen I'm totally fine with like off off Broadway even like just community plays I'm totally cool with I'm not very picky um, but I think my most reasonable goal is I do want to kind of have my own business eventually in my life. Kind of like a small boutique kind of thing. Um, and where do you want to live? Um, honestly, I don't know. I sometimes feel like I want to stay in New York, but it's just like, I don't know, I've always been in New York. I'd probably move to like LA or something, like somewhere in Cali that's also like very city-ish. And this last segment is, do you believe in? Do you believe in God? I don't believe in a god. They, I feel like there might be a higher being of some sort, but I don't believe that there is a god. Do you believe in miracles? I don't know. Maybe. It's weird. I can see how miracles can happen, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's just coincidence, or if you work hard enough, things will happen. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it happened to me, though, but I... I don't know, I watch way too many romantic movies, I guess, but me personally, I don't think I will find someone through love at first sight, but I think it is possible. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. Do you believe in soulmates? Yeah, I guess. Do you believe in heaven? I don't know. Do you believe in hell? I don't know. I feel like I don't, but I do believe in, like, demons, and I kind of do believe in the devil. I don't know. Maybe. There might be one. I don't know. I'll let you guys know after I'm dead, depending on where I go. Do you believe in kissing on the first date? Sure, why not? Be a little daring. There's something wrong with being a little bit daring. Kissing is, kissing is okay. Do you believe in yourself? That I do. It took me almost 20 years of my life to like actually believe in myself but I do believe in myself and I'm proud to say that and I'm happy to say that 
And I wish nothing more than for everyone else in the world to believe in themselves because it's definitely a strong, empowering thing to like definitely be confident and like love yourself for who you are. Um, I'm a big person on that, so if you believe in yourself, thumbs up for you. That's awesome. And that is the end of the tag video. I hope you got some idea of what I am as a person. Um, if you have any other requests, by all means, you're always welcome to just leave it in the comments below. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. If you'd like more tag videos, also give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos with me, just click the subscribe button. You won't regret it, I promise. It's going to be a good time. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer, because, like, I don't know if you guys already started school. If you have, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I'm starting school in about two weeks, so I'm kind of a little bummed out, but it's been a good summer. So I hope you guys all enjoyed your summer as well. And, as always, thank you for watching. Bye.